Today, I want to talk about how I'm using scripts with my Home Assistant automations to make my house look smarter than it really is. And we're going to do it all without touching a single YAML file. If you're looking to build a smart home and not just an automated home using Home Assistant, stick around because we're about to automate some boring stuff. What's up everyone? Welcome to Slacker Labs. If this is your first time here, my name is Jeff. And here at Slacker Labs, we look for ways to automate the boring stuff. This week, we're talking about taking our basic home assistant automations and achieving that true smart home look. And it's a lot easier than you think. Now, before we go any further, I wanna point out that I believe home automation and smart homes to be two different things. Home automation is about replacing physical interaction with automation, like having all of the living room lamps controlled by just one switch. A smart home is about replacing physical interaction and having lights turn on based on things like room occupancy, time of day, light level, whether the blinds are open or closed, and other sensors that can help provide the context around the need for light. In a smart home, any direct interaction would be initiated by the house or used as exception handling. But I got into home automation because I wanted Jarvis. Pardon me, sir. The Clorox wipe inventory has reached critical levels. Um, thanks, Jarvis. Anything for you, sir? Unfortunately, we don't have access to that level of intelligence. Speak for yourself. Why do you have to be such a smart assistant? The truth is, we're still a long way from having a Jarvis-like system running our home automation. But in Home Assistant, we can use scripts to build complex automations that have conditions for each action, and we can set it up all from the UI. Let me show you how. Before we get into the more advanced stuff, let's set the stage. A basic automation really only needs two parts, a trigger and an action. You have the optional condition, which allows you to limit when your automation runs, but it's not required. Most automations we build are designed with a single purpose in mind. Something triggers and then we do an action. For example, let's say we want to create an automation to turn on the driveway lights when we come home because who wants to come home to a dark house? For that, we'll go over to the automations in our configuration and we're going to click add. We will call this automation family is home. And for the trigger, we have a group. So we were going to set this to state. For the entity, we will use our family group and we will say when it changes from not home to home, we'll trigger this automation. Then we'll come down to actions and we will call the service. We will use the switch turn on service and then we have a switch for our driveway light and we'll turn that on. And there we go, we have a basic automation for the family is home. But what if we want that light to only come on after sunset? Well, we can add a condition here and we will change this condition to sun and we will set it for after sunset. Now, this automation will only fire after sunset and we'll go ahead and hit save. What if we decide we wanna disarm the security when we come home too? The problem is this automation has this condition. And so all of these actions won't fire unless it's after sunset, which makes it not too good if we want to disarm our security as well. One solution is we could simply build another automation to trigger when the family group comes home and have that one disarm the security without conditions. But I believe there's a better way to combine all of this into one automation using scripts. Scripts are basically routines if you've used those in other home automation platforms. They're essentially a series of actions executed in sequence and they can have their own conditions, which makes them an easy way to add decision logic to your automations. The idea is we're going to have two scripts, one to handle the lights and one to disarm the security. So first we're gonna need a script to handle the light. So let's head over here to our scripts and we're going to add a script and we will call this one driveway light on dark 
And then for our sequence, we're going to need a condition in here and we're going to have it be the sun. We're going to say after sunset so that we can mirror our condition that we had in our previous automation. And then we're going to add an action. And this one is going to call the switch turn on service. And the entity, of course, is going to be our driveway light. And go ahead and save this guy. And now we have a script that anytime we call this script and it's after sunset, it will turn on our driveway lights. Now we need a script to handle disarming our security. Go back to our scripts. We're going to add another script. We will call this one disarm security. This one, we don't need a condition. We will simply call a service. And in my setup, I have an input Boolean called secure mode that when it's on, the house is secure and when it's off security is disarmed so in this case since we're disarming security we're going to want to turn off that input boolean and there's my secure mode and that's all we need for this one we can save that and now we have a script to disarm security so we're going to go back here to configuration to automations our family is home we're going to edit this we're going to leave our trigger the same. We're going to remove this condition because now the conditions live in our scripts. We're going to leave this call service. We're going to change this service to the script turn on service. And we're going to change this to our driveway lights on at dark. Then we're going to add another act action here and we're going to call the service again. Again, we're going to use the same script turn on service and we're going to set this to our disarm security script. And now we'll hit save. And now we've updated our family as home script. And so now anytime the family comes home, we're going to fire two scripts. The first one is lights on at dark. And if it's after sunset, it's going to turn on our driveway lights. And will fire the disarm security script, which no matter the time of day, it's going to disarm the security. And that's it. It's pretty simple. We've now set up our family is home automation that will trigger anytime the family comes home. And now we have two different actions that will happen and the lights will come on at dark only if it's after sunset. And every time we come home, we'll disarm the security. Now this was an extremely simple example, and it's not true artificial intelligence, but hopefully it does show that you can build complex automations in Home Assistant using scripts, and the possibilities are endless. You can add as many scripts as you need to an automation. Maybe you want different lighting based on whether it's morning, afternoon, or night. You just need three different scripts with conditions for those time periods. In my Home Assistant configuration, I leverage scripts a lot for this reason. And in fact, over in my configuration on GitHub, in the packages in my presence, you can actually see what I do when the family has arrived and when the family has left. For example, when the family has arrived, I fire a whole bunch of scripts here. And for example, like this vacation canceled actually checks to see if vacation mode is on. And if it is, it turns it off. It turns some appliances back on that may have been turned off when we left. This standby basically disarms my security. It triggers this washer finished notification audible, which basically says if the washer finished while we were gone to remind us a couple of minutes after we've come in the door that we need to move the clothes to the dryer. When the family leaves, a similar scenario takes place. I have a script that goes through and turns off some appliances. We execute the scene to turn off the lights, but then we have a whole bunch related to security, which each one of these goes through and checks its little areas. Like it checks to make sure that all the doors in the garage are closed and flags it so that we would know. Same thing goes through and checks to make sure all the doors and windows are closed. And then it tries to execute this lockdown. And if for whatever reason, these things didn't happen, it would have flipped on an issue, Boolean essentially. And then it will refuse to put the house in secure mode. And then this lockdown issue, if that boolean is on will send us a notification that says hey there was an issue locking down the house 
There's one here for turning all the fans off if they're on. And these scripts make it super easy, like I said before, to add some decision logic to these automations. Using this method can allow you to build in scenarios for all the conditions you want to include in an automation. And the result is something that might even look Jarvis-like to those on the outside looking in. So if you want to push your home automation into the realm of a smart home, consider using scripts with your automations. So that's it for this video. As always, thanks for taking time out of your home automation projects to watch mine. Until next time, go automate the boring stuff.